It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Wind gusts of 50 to 80 kilometers an hour. What is that, 40 to 50 miles an hour? Somewhere in there. About 10 centimeters of snow expected. Snow clearing operations in full swing. It actually looks a lot better now. When I first woke up, I my eyes went a little wide. I looked out my front window. I couldn't see across the street. Like, oh boy, this is gonna be a four wheel drive type of day. Okay, here we go. It'll be a little bit of a slow moving day, but we're gonna get stuff done. We're gonna get stuff done. That's why we got the good old Chevy pickup truck, four wheel drive for days just like this, right? There's so many people out here with these small little two wheel drive cars. Most cars are front wheel drive, which is better in the winter time, but uh, there's such low clearance. I can't get over the snow drifts and stuff. But you save a lot of fuel throughout the year. So, I mean, the one or two days, I guess, you know, it's a personal choice. Personally, I like to drive bigger vehicles. But you don't buy them for fuel economy, so you got to pay for it at the pumps, especially nowadays. So, off to the semi we go. I got a trailer to pick up in Winnipeg, and then I'm going to put some freight on it. We'll see what time we get back. It shouldn't take the whole day. I might get another assignment this afternoon yet. It's supposed to clear up yet and then start blowing again this evening. Manitoba. I love my home. Lovely day. Such a lovely start to the day. We got less than a quarter mile visibility here. I can still see the lane, so that's good. A lot of snow and a lot of blowing snow. It was worse on the last highway I was on because uh, the wind is coming straight out of the south. So that's where our warm weather is coming from. But uh, when it was blowing over the road, visibility was four feet at times. I was actually considering turning around, but I couldn't find a safe place to turn around. So I had to keep moving. You don't want to stop on the highway, right? You don't know who's coming up behind you. So then I got onto this highway, which is a north-south highway, and I'm headed northbound right now like with the wind, so the wind is sort of just pushing me along. And the visibility is actually a lot better. But you got something going on here, someone's in the ditch. Okay, we're gonna slow right down. We're gonna slow right down here. I don't got a tow rope that can pull them out either, and I got no flashing. Oh, there's a tow truck right there. Okay, good. Usually if I see someone in the ditch, if I can reach them with my tow rope, I can pull them out. But in weather like this, I don't got any uh, flashing orange beacons in my pickup. Which I, maybe I should, maybe I should have them for when stuff like that happens. But if I don't have any way to notify oncoming traffic that I'm pulling someone out, I find that to be more dangerous than just, you know, as long as their car is running and they can stay warm. And it's just wait for the, the professionals to get there uh, with their uh, towing equipment and, you know, beacons and signs and stuff. If it's a clear day, I can pull them out. Yeah, so we're just putting along here. It has gotten better, so I'm gonna keep moving forward for now. I'm more than halfway to work, so it's closer to go to work and stop than to go back home and stop. And I don't know how much we're gonna get done, but at least I'll be at work, and uh, hopefully this weather will clear up in the next couple of hours and we can uh, start getting stuff done. Got some more oncoming traffic here. Let's just make sure that they know where the lanes are too. Everybody's doing good. That car in front of me. No, don't pull over on the shoulder, man. Do not pull over on the shoulder. Oh, he's pulling over on the shoulder. Such a bad idea. Such a bad idea in a snowstorm. Oh, man. Leave your lights on at least, man. Put your hazards on, maybe. Ah. Ah. If you want to stop, I understand. I totally understand if you want to stop. But just turn onto a different road. Get off the highway. Freaks me out, you know? I hope nobody, eh, I'm sure they'll be fine, but still, makes me nervous. We made it. Well, we gotta get around the corner yet, but we made it. Man, you wouldn't believe it. I saw like 15 cars in the ditch. There was one car that got scared. It was a little Nissan Versa, a little tiny car. Got scared, stopped in the middle of the road. And I don't mean in the middle of his lane. I mean the middle of the road. Like between, like on the middle line, just stopped. And because he did that, there was about six other cars that just about hit him. 
all hit all went into the ditch traffic came to a dead stop it almost caused a pile up and he just sat there frozen frozen in fear i guess jeez i have you guys strapped to my head but my camera had turned itself off well there's not too much snow built up back here and i can see the truck from here so i mean that's pretty good Let's go get it started and uh, get it warmed up. I'm gonna go back to the front and see what the plan for today is because uh, <laughs> Mother Nature has her own plans. So we'll see if we can make our plans work with hers. Another one of those days. It's gonna be good, you know? The next warm day we have, we're gonna appreciate it so much more. Boy. There she is park right here. I don't think we're getting anything done today. Yikes. He's gonna try to get his truck through this snow here, yeah. Yikes. Yeah, nothing's moving. Well, the word right now is that we're going to hang around till noon and see if it improves. But, uh, most likely going home early today. It's brutal. Less than a, a quarter mile visibility out there. Got the yard guys working hard here clearing snow, backing stuff in. Got all the city trucks here lined up. We've all got stuff to do. Uh, the problem is Mother Nature. She's got a lot of opinions today. So we're waiting around, like I said, till noon. See what see what what happens if it clears up. Good. If not, we'll bring all these trucks back to the back and park them in there if we don't get stuck on the way, and uh, call it a day. It's right now. It's not safe to be out on the highways, and there's probably a lot of people in the ditch very low visibility the plows might be out already but even if the plows are out on the roads the snow is going to build up right away again right behind them so we'll see what happens we'll just keep the truck warm for now and i'm gonna eat my lunch in the meantime while i'm waiting not much to show you guys other than this like just waiting around well, the weather did clear up. I got you strapped to my head and we're headed back home. I went around the Trans Canada. Uh, it's a little bit longer to get home, but it's also four lane divided. I felt like that was just a better choice to make today, but around, around about one o'clock, I think is when it cleared up. It's still snowing and blowing just a little bit, but it's nowhere near blizzard conditions or anything. Roads have been salted. They're doing pretty good. Not slippery. I'm, well, depending on what your definition of slippery is, I guess. I. But uh, we're doing good. Didn't get much done today. But I did go pick up a trailer in the city. And I also picked up a few parts. Uh, that we needed. Our winter trucks are getting ready to go up on the winter roads. And uh, they needed an extra fuel tank. So I had to go pick that up in the city. In the in the work pickup truck nothing to show you today trucking wise though I'm gonna go home and enjoy the weekend now and hopefully by Monday this will all be cleared up my beard is getting a little longer isn't it I'd say it's getting long but there's a lot of guys out there would be like yeah no this ain't long yet we're just getting started you know I don't want you to hate me just because I'm beardiful. <laughs> I want to grow it out at least once in my life, and I always end up giving up because it's really hard to get past the awkward phase and then to the point where it's an actual, like, glorious, majestic, manly beard. One of these years, I'll get there. For my excuse this year, I'm using the fact that it's been cold and that it's winter and winter's cold. And I'm using it to keep my face warm. 
I don't know what's gonna happen when spring comes up. I'm gonna have to come up with a new excuse to keep growing it then. I don't, I don't know. Well, we're back at home, uh, putting this together the next day. Friday was the, when I filmed all this, this vlog day. It was nuts. That was nuts. Uh, if I would have known how bad the roads were about halfway to work, I wouldn't even have gone in in the morning. It was, uh, the roads were pretty bad. But when they got so bad, I was already over halfway to work. And it was closer just to go to work than to come all the way back home. Because the weather got worse in a hurry. And there was like four feet of visibility at times and I was creeping along at 20 30 kilometers an hour and you got these nutcases barreling through that at highway speeds and they're almost running into you from behind even though you have your hazards on and then you get those other people who are so scared that they stop dead center in the middle of the road and you don't see them until they're four feet in front of you and you try not to hit them I don't know how those guys who are going like highway speed through that are missing these people I was expecting there to be some kind of massive pileup and there almost was like I was telling you there on the way to work, that one car that stopped, like it's a four lane divided highway. This car stopped dead center in the middle of the lanes, the northbound lanes. So the center of the road blocking both lanes just stopped. It was idling there where it wasn't stuck, wasn't in a snow drift, could have easily moved forward and gotten over onto the shoulder. The visibility at that point was probably about, I don't know, 50 meters or uh, 50, 100 feet. Like, a little further than four feet you could see them ahead you could see the shoulder right so you could see where the shoulder was you can get onto the shoulder it was an open area it wasn't covered in snow you get onto the gravel get out of the way they wouldn't move and everybody's piling up behind them almost hitting each other a few people went flying into the ditch on both sides trying to avoid this person they didn't even have their hazards on parked in the middle of the road no hazards lights were on yeah but just stopped in a snowstorm. I'm sure of it. Like, I got around it. And I'm not going to stick around. Because, I mean, their vehicle's running, right? So they have heat. And they have warm. I'm, I'm, I'm not stopping in the middle of the road and creating another road hazard. I don't want to get schmucked. So we're going to... So I kept going down the road. And uh, just hoping, hoping that no one was going to hit that car. But I wouldn't have been surprised if someone just plowed into him. Just... I know I don't want to get upset at people for being afraid and being uh, nervous in snowy conditions. But first off, you shouldn't have left the house if that's how you are in this weather. You looked outside, you saw what the weather was like, you made the decision to get behind the wheel and get out on the road. You got out of your driveway onto the little road that leads to the main road. You still decided to keep on going. You got down the road a little bit and you realize that this is a little bit bad it's a lot bad you still continue to keep going until you were in the worst possible spot to stop ever in the middle of the highway and that's where you decide to stop i don't know what to say uh, terrible decision terrible decision that's asking to get people killed so yeah i i, I sympathize with people when they're afraid of bad weather conditions but in if you're if you know just don't even get on the road and if you get on the road and suddenly it gets bad and worse than you thought it would get and it's something you can't handle you gotta you gotta suck it up just for a couple more seconds and get off the road just don't stop on the road in a blizzard uh, this is i'm preaching to the choir here you guys all know this but there's that one person out there and by the the small slim chance that they're watching my video right now I hope that they take this to heart. Next time you're in a snowstorm, get off the road before you stop. You're better off to just plow your car into the ditch. You'll be safer there. And just wait for help to come. If you can, if you can handle it, get off the road onto an on-ramp, an off-ramp, a side road, anything that's not the road or the shoulder. But, oh boy, that made me really nervous. And I probably should have stayed home. But by that time, I was closer to work when it got that bad. And, you know... I, I'm a professional driver, uh, if it gets bad, I'll get through it, or I'll get somewhere safe. And we made it through. And it cleared up at about noon, and so we did get some stuff done in the afternoon yet. Not as much as we wanted to get done, but we did get some stuff done, and it turned out to be somewhat of a productive day after all. Now I have snow drifts in front of my house that are about four to five feet, oh, four feet high. 
our yard where we let the dogs out was just covered in snow. I had to shovel it out so that they could even get out the door. We had to push our door open on the side. It was uh, all snowed in. We're lucky our front door opens this way instead of that way. Because our side door, you got to push open. Our front door opens, opens this way, right? Excuse all my laundry here, but it opens this way. So even if you're snowed in, you can at least get the door open and start shoveling. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, short video today. A couple of short videos this week, but I'll see you later, everybody. I hope you take care. Chevy, you got anything to add? Oh, I'm just stretching. Oh, it's been a good day. Uh, hi, guys.